Hey, good morning. It's Wednesday, it's raining. We've got a hurricane bearing down on us later tonight, so it's just wet, which is why I'm talking to you from my dining room and not from the dog park. Uh, what I wanna to talk to you about today is renovations and why another thing that real estate agents can offer that people often don't think of. You know, people think that we are here to help you sell your house or to help you buy a house, but we also can offer advice with anything that involves real estate. So let me tell you about this client that I'm working with right now. Last year, they refinanced their home. They had $40,000 in equity. They decided to refinance, take out that 40,000, and they remodeled. They did some basic things that make a lot of sense. You know, they redid their bathroom and then they redid the countertops in the kitchen. But there's something else they did. They spent 17,000 of that $40,000 and they pushed the outer wall of their living room out, creating an extra 100 square feet in the house. Now, if you want to make the remodel, make it. My job is not to tell you no to don't do it. My job is to tell you that might not be a wise financial decision because you may not get that money back. So they spent $17,000 pushing out a wall, creating an extra 100 square feet. Well, it wasn't enough room. They still feel cramped and claustrophobic in this house. They have a child who may have to move back in with his family, and that house is just not large enough now. So now they need a larger house, but they're almost underwater. Because the market's been hot, they have some extra value, so they have almost $8,000 in equity. The $3,000 they paid off after the refi, plus about another $5,000 because of the hot market. And if we sold the house, they would probably walk with $8,000 in equity. But that's not very much, not compared to what they could have had. So they're having a hard time finding a house. Fortunately, he's a veteran, so he qualifies for a VA loan, so zero down. So they're just looking at transplanting a monthly payment, ballooning that up, but they can't find a house that they really like. And with market inflated prices, they can't afford the houses that they really like. We've been looking at houses around 300, 290, and they're falling in love. But when you talk to the lender, it's just too much of a monthly payment. And it's all because of this refi that they did. If they had asked me, I would have advised them, don't do this remodel for the extra 100, 100 square feet at $17,000. You're not going to recoup it. Things that you do recoup, kitchens, bathrooms, those get you your money back. That's what really sells a house. These days, we're starting to see increased emphasis on mud rooms and or offices, so bonus rooms. You know, you might get your money back on that, but what they spent their money on, they're not getting their money back on. Again, if you really want to do it, do it if it's going to make a difference. But 100 square feet just wasn't doing it. So if they had contacted a real estate agent, maybe they would have avoided that pitfall. Maybe they then would have had money that they could put into a house that they really love. And right now they'd be sitting in a house that fits their needs instead of in a cramped claustrophobic space that they're in right now. Just one story about how real estate agents can help you. If they, you, they had called a real estate agent, there would have been no charge. They would have had gotten free financial advice from an expert, someone who would have been able to say, this might not be a good idea, and maybe they wouldn't have done it. Maybe they would have done it. Um, in any case, that's all right. That's their prerogative, and you're allowed to not listen to us. We're just advisors, but we are advisors that kind of know what we're doing. So give us a call if you're doing anything. If you have any real estate needs, Give me a call. Just say, hey, Travis, is this a good idea? I'll tell you yes or no. I'll give you my honest opinion. It's your decision to make, but at least then you are more informed about what's happening. Uh, again, give me a call if you have any questions. Phone number is 202-538-5877. There's a subscribe button down below. There's a like button down below. You hit either of them, you'll catch my future updates. Or, um, tell YouTube to send my stuff out to other people. All right, so I'm still new at this. I'm still working out what to say. But in any case, I hope you have a great day. Survive the hurricane tonight. Love you, Montgomery.